Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel. Ayan. So today, I'll be giving you updates coming from the Department of Education and any concerns related to Department of Education. At isa sa mga i-share ko sa inyo ngayon is itong very timely and significant which is the sample of action research. So ang ibibigay ko sa inyo ngayon is itong action research proposal in the new normal entitled The Level of Difficulties Encountered by Teachers in the Implementation of Result-Based Performance Management System or the RPMS in the new normal. Basis for Teachers Enhancement Program kasi we actually done with our uh, instant training or our mid-year performance. So therefore, we have or we are actually in the halfway of our RPMS implementation in the new normal. But before we're going through with our updates, kung hindi ka pa nakapag-subscribe sa akin channel, just hit the, sub the subscribe button for more updates about our video. Ayan. So I am Arbert Nanchita with me. My co-author, Sir Eliotario Ekano Jr. and Sir Maka Zorni Gonzalez. Ayan, at dahil dyan, shall we start? So, according to Werner Von Brown, research is what I'm doing when I don't know what I'm doing. And we have actually the context and rationale. So, it is imperative to say that nowadays a student learns and gets the best education in school because the government had set standards that required different administrators to hire the best and qualified teachers applicants. The teacher will undergo the application process online and must be able to uh, meet certain criteria to be eligible for teaching. So, ito lang po yung tatandaan niyo to make a context and rationale or the background or the introduction of your study, you need to follow the inverted triangle which is from very broad up until the problem that you have in your uh, school. Ayan. So, according to William Arthur Ward, one said, the mediocre teacher tells, the good teacher explains, the superior teacher demonstrates, and the great teacher inspires. This according to National Education Association 2014. It is clearly evidence that these words instilled among the minds of every teacher. Thus, it inspires and boosts teachers' confidence in dealing with different teaching-related activities, and some of them had made these quotations as their daily words of encouragement. However, it is under the responsibility of the administrators to recognize which teachers are really effective in the classroom and which are not. So, while during the service of teachers, the government mandated every administrator to identify the teacher's performance through a tool called the RPMS. So, to complement reform initiatives to teacher quality, the Philippines Professional Standards have been developed and nationally validated. So this was signed into a policy of the Department of Education with our secretary uh, with Deped Order Number 42 Series of 2015. And the PPST articulates that constitutes teacher quality through well-defined domains, strands, and indicators that provide measures of professional learning and competent practice and effective engagement across the teacher stages. So through the RPMS, the DepEd or ensures that work efforts will focus towards achieving its vision, mission, and values in strategic priorities towards the delivery of educational services to the Filipino learners. Actually, it also uh, aims to provide feedback to employees' work, progress, and accomplishment based on the clearly defined goals and objectives and track accomplishment against objectives to determine the appropriate corrective actions if needed. Ayan. So, um, with this one, the teacher or researchers further believe that this new rating tool for teachers will be a big help given ample time and a proper orientation among teachers. And with this idea is actually the researcher are actually challenged to conduct a study in order to find out the level of difficulties encountered by the teachers and the perceptions in the implementation of this RPMS in the new normal settings in this uh, new uh, era and the result will be a basis of four teachers enhancement program. So those are actually our introductions and the context and the rationale of this research. And probably for our research question, specifically this study aims to answer the following questions. What is the level of difficulties encountered by the teachers in the implementation of RPMS in the new normal in terms of context knowledge and pedagogy, diversity of learners and assessment? and reporting, curriculum and planning, community linkages, and professional engagement development. The plus factor for num our SOP number two, what are the perceptions of the teachers in the implementation of the RPMS? 
in the new normal and number three which is based on the result what appropriate action plan that needs to be taken for our innovation intervention and strategy it actually aims uh, to provide feedback on the employees work progress and accomplishment based on the clarified goals and objectives that can be tracked through the accomplishments against objectives to determine appropriate correction actions if needed Moreover, it will also uplift every teacher professionally and give them relevant programs and projects that will help them to do their tasks outstandingly and will have an impact on the teacher and administrators in building an avenue where everyone has the chance to excel and become productive. So this is actually our conceptual framework, which is the input, the process, and the output. So for the input, which is the level of difficulties encountered by the teachers and their perceptions in the implementation of the RPMS, so it is very important that you have this conceptual framework for you to have the blueprint of your study. For the process, this is the implementation of the RPMS. And for our output, which is uh, our action plan, which is the, the teacher's enhancement uh, program. And for the action research method, this is very important because this would also support on how you're going to uh, get the data out of your SOP and how you are going to interpret the data. So, dito yun makikita sa action research methods natin. For number one, the research design, the teacher researchers will be using a mech, uh, will be using a mixed method for this study. Qualitative method will be used to know the perceptions of the teachers in the implementation of the RPMS in the new normal settings using the guide questions, while quantitative method will be used to employ the level of difficulties encountered by the teachers in the implementation of RPMS in the new normal. Quantitative method emphasize objectives, measurement in the statistical, mathematical, or numerical analysis of data collected through polls and questionnaires. Ayan. So for our data gathering procedures, this is also very important, especially that we are in the new normal, how we are going to get or to gather the data. Okay, so the first Ito po siya, the, the, the teacher or the teacher researchers will be following the guidelines set by the division office in Sarangani because I am actually under the Sarangani division in conducting this study first. The researchers will submit a research proposal and a letter request to the school head and will sign as noted. It will be certified by SEPS for planning and research and the SGOD chief. The research proposal and the permission to conduct shall be approved by the assistant school's division superintendent. After it will be approved, another letter to be sent to the school principal and the teachers to conduct the study. Furthermore, the researchers will personally conduct a conference together with the teachers of Spring Integrated School because I will be conducting I will be conducting my study in my school and talk about the study. All questionnaires that will be used in this study will be validated by our school master teachers and the school principal. The respondents will just check the box provided for their answer. After the respondents answer the questionnaires given, retrieval will follow. So based on the result, all the data will be analyzed and interpreted carefully. So for our research respondents, so I have here the table 1 which is the distribution of respondents. So I separated from elementary, junior high school, and senior high school regardless the, the, the level of being a teacher. Either it is teacher 1 to teacher 3. So for number of teachers for elementary 18, for junior 12, and for the senior high school uh, 3 with a total of 33 respondents in my study. It is very is also important that we'll be having our research instrument. What are the instruments that you're going to use to extract data? So, the researchers will be using a self-made questionnaire. Ibig sabihin, kami po yung gumawa and uh, our questionnaire was, be, was actually validated by our master teacher and the principal. So, it consisted of two parts. Part 1, the researcher will be using a 5-point scale from the Likert scale, adapted from Likert, Likert scale, and measuring the level of difficulties encountered by the teachers in the implementation of the RPMS in the new normal. And for the part 2, the researcher's method or the, the researchers uh, will be employing the focus group discussion with a guide question to know the perceptions of the teachers in the implementation of the RPMS in the new normal. And at, of course, itong next part natin, napaka-importante din itong ating statistical treatment, how you're going to treat the data, especially your, that would support or that would answer your SOPs. Ayan. So, know the level of difficulties encountered by the teacher in the implementation of the RPMS in the new normal, 
weighted mean and the 5 point scale as use or use as legend frequency distribution and the percentage will be employed in treating the data for the perceptions of the teachers in the implementation of RPMS, direct and indirect quotations will be used to generate the data. Yun po yun siya. So, I hope you've learned something about our topic for this uh, day, which is the action research, especially because itong ating action research mapufall siya dito sa human uh, resource natin. So, I hope uh, makakandak natin itong ating research and we will find out the proper... Uh, programs that we can give and that we can assist our teachers. So, thank you so much for watching. God bless everyone.